pretty windy out here. The first step, or the next step, I guess we've done the first step. The next step is turning off the water and draining all the pipes. I've got all my, all my parts in my fanny pack. This is just a shop rag in case I make a mess. Purple, purple primer, all purpose cement. That's just for a drain, it's just for a drain pipe so it doesn't have to be that good. I've got this little copper pipe cutter. I got my drain pipe cap. This is a shark bite end cap for half inch copper pipe. This I'm not sure about, but we'll see. First I have to turn this off in here. Ew, spiders. Ew, spiders. Well, this would be a lot easier. I wonder if this comes off. This looks like it. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes things easier. Now I don't have to get bit by whatever built that nest. Channel locks. Turn the water off. Okay. All right. Let's go drain the. Let's go drain all the faucets. This is the end of the line. Still going a little bit. Look at that beautiful lady. You want to come under the house and get the spiders out of my way? Oh, no. No? Uh -huh. You taking out the trash? Yeah, hop on in. Why don't you take yourself out? I know that's what you were trying to set yourself up for. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I thought you were being nice. I didn't know it was a... I'm a trash wife. <laughs> Black Widow's in there. Does Randy come out next? No. Okay. I'm gonna put my little cutter and my, my shop rag. And my. Some oh, God, there are spiders. You want me to spray it? No. Oh. We'll look out for snakes. glue in there. All right. Let's go under the house. This thing is down to a trickle. That should be the end of the water line because it comes from way over there. It enters the house on the other side. This should be the very end. The last thing to drain. Going under. Oh, I left the light on. Okay. Look, a snail. Excuse me. Over here with your buddy. Got work to do. I got work to do. Luckily, this is happening after work this time. So my jeans are already dusty. Cassie's walking around above me. Okay, let's go. This is my guy right here. I'm gonna cut it here. somewhere right here so I can uh, hopefully not lose any water out of this I have no idea what I'm doing I spoke with a guy at Home Depot so I'm pretty much an expert now right here's my cutter 
It's copper cutting time. This is the feed line to the bathtub. That's the one I want to cut first. I'm going to cut it and then put this shark bite end cap on. So I think you just do, 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 turn this. Yep, it's getting tighter. Get it nice and tight on there. And then just spin it, I think. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit in case whatever water is left in there comes out. Maybe go a little tighter. And then tighter again, I guess. You know, I never cut copper pipe, so this thing doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Oh, you hear that? There's definitely water in there still. Go tighter again. Okay. Make sure it's nice and clean and take our little shark bite here. Make sure it's lined up right. You just push this on. I don't... I don't like how it can spin still. That's kind of worrisome. He did tell me to buy one of these. This is to get it off later. This will push that plastic and that'll come off. I'm gonna call a real plumber to put it back together. I just need to cap it off so I can remove the bathtub completely and patch the walls and floors and ceiling and then put a new bathtub in and call a plumber <laughs> okay now for the drain that's this we're gonna cut that with uh this little guy i have other tools to cut it but this seemed like the most efficient to carry for me to carry as I crawl through the crawl space. So it's the one I went with. We'll just cut it right here. How's that? easy enough. Now for the cap. Yep. Primer first. Here we go. Just so you know, I tipped it over and spilled it everywhere. I don't want you guys to think I never make any mistakes. Because that is everywhere now. My beautiful black plastic is all purple. And I just, I feel like if you don't spill your primer and get purple everywhere, then you're probably a professional. And you don't need to be watching this video anyway, because this is just for the AMs, the AMs. Wait, while the primer's still wet, use an appropriate solvent, cement. Okay, let's do that second coat that it's talking about. Also, it wants me to put it inside of here, so beep. Now I'm gonna take the cement without reading the instructions. Put it all over here. That's a lot. That was probably too much. I can hear the plumbers screaming at the television. 
you idiot. Why are you putting so much cement on a drain pipe? <laughs> All you had to do was set that on there. Would have been fine. The drain is capped. We don't have to have that coming, draining in here anywhere. We got a, I can rip this out of the shower. This is still dripping water, I'm not sure about. Not sure how that's doing that. Cool. Cool. All right. I'm gonna put uh, the things that aren't covered in purple, sticky purple, back in my fanny pack, which is just the cutter and the remover. Crawl out of here. Maybe I'll turn it on a little bit. Or is that gonna matter? Okay. Well, I forgot about this guy. Came around the corner, I heard water a little bit. Started freaking out. Come on, shark bite. I think it's holding. How cool is a shark bite thing? Oh gosh. Tipping over. I'm just gonna leave that light on because I'm going down again soon enough. I did it. We are shark bitten. It's good to go. Let's put the meter top back on. And then we can take out the shower. This is all important stuff because there's baby on the way. Gather round you good time boys, listen to my song. May not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and settle down.